let's go to YouTube. Hometown Fitted's coming through. Yesterday I talked about my BP jerseys, even showed you to showed you them. And man, I got I got that Mariners on right now. This thing is fantastic. Take a look at this bad boy, man. 1989. If anyone told you BP jerseys aren't worth it, they are lying. I'm telling you right now, jump on them. Don't sleep on them. These things are definitely worth it. I went on the eBay today to see uh, what prices you guys might be looking at, just to do a little research for you guys. Uh, there aren't too many on eBay right now. There's definitely none of these. But uh, but I typed in um, MLB batting practice jerseys authentic, and a couple popped up. And one really interesting popped up, and I want you guys to look out for this. It was a 1996 Derek Jeter uh, batting practice jersey and the guy wanted four hundred dollars canadian for this thing so i thought okay it makes sense if it was if it's a, if it's a real deal one so i click on it i start looking into it it's a size large the thing is a replica okay it, it's like a fan jersey it's like the the replicas of today and then there's the pro jerseys and, and let me tell you something the batting practice jerseys no matter how old it is it's going to have the exact same sizing as the pro on-field game jerseys it's going to be set as a 40 44, 48, 50, and so on, okay? And sometimes in this case, a 42. Um, but it, it, they're only, those are the numbers of the sizing, okay, for a pro. This dude's trying to sell a replica to you guys, try to rip off some poor young kid or, or so, some guy that doesn't understand um, the jerseys and, and, and doesn't know the background of them and all that stuff. He's going to get this guy to spend $400 thinking it is a Jeter rookie batting practice jersey well it's not it's just a fan jersey and it's definitely not worth that much money in my opinion now if you want to go out and get it that's up to you man that's that's up to you you want to spend four hundred dollars on that but myself personally i wouldn't do it and i don't want any of my friends doing it i consider you guys friends so i'm looking out for you guys this way um because honestly it's it's not worth that at all if it was a pro one yes for sure because then it actually is the 96 one but the 1996 had a, it was a button up so be sure you look into that uh the 95 had a couple buttons here and then like i showed you my uh the uh my other one the 93 um that one was the paul o'neill one that that's a straight pullover no buttons on it or anything so you got to know what you're looking for do your research even google like google image that's what i like to do i like to do a google image and then just kind of base it off of that, what you're looking for. But anyway, don't sleep on batting practice jerseys. No one's going to jump on you for buying them because they are fantastic. They're well worth it. Every penny, even the new ones, if you can't afford the on-field game jerseys, at least get the on-field batting practice jerseys. Those things are like about $135. And on eBay, you can get them even cheaper. Um, and then in auctions, you can scoop those right up. They're definitely worth it. Don't sleep on them. Get them. Let's make this a fad. Let's make these things super popular. And uh, let's see if we can start something. All right. Hometown Fitted Fitter, Snap Snapper Fitted, Keep them clean, keep them crisp. Thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing and commenting and bringing me back. That's what it's about. Peace.